the expulsion of Brigadier Joffre Muhesi from the Democratic Republic of Congo could further strain the relationship between the Kampala regime and Joseph Kabila at the time a regional war looms large. <laughs> Muhesi's expulsion also comes at the time the recently deployed UN Brigade alongside the DRC launched a two-pronged attack on M23 to root them out of the lakeside town in eastern Congo. This conflict threatens to star the volatile port in a war-weary region. I remember when I used to be head of external security, Baba Kabila at one point began to say, Congo will not burn alone. We shall push this war to the east where the sun comes from. Another time they had intentions of moving all the way to Kampala and Kigali. Muhesi has been overseeing a joint verification team of 11 Great Lakes countries based in Goma. That verification team was appointed after a UN report indicted Rwanda and Uganda for giving support to the M23 rebels. Okay. A rebel group which continues to occupy Goma, the M23 was formed in April 2013 after hundreds of soldiers from a previous uprising, the National Congress for the Defense of the People, mutined at choosing the government of breaking the terms of the March 23, 2009 peace deal under which they had been integrated in the National Army. Highly placed sources told NTV that during the International Conference on the Great Lakes Region Summit in Nairobi last month, DRC officials curtly asked for the withdrawal of Muhesi. I know Brigadier Geoffrey Muhesi. He's a very serious soldier and is quite a committed uh, citizen. If Congo, the DRC, has thrown out the team leader or the entire joint verification mechanism, which was headed by Brigadier Geoffrey Muhezi, this action alone, this diplomatic action, it means Uganda is being seen as not neutral. Uganda is not, uh, cannot be relied on. Uganda is partisan in this conflict. Get out. The authorities here confirmed that Muhesi had been expelled. They promised to comment only after the DRC government officially communicates its position. However, there is fear that at the time the specter of conflict threatens to spill over. Such a decision could undermine the legitimacy of the International Conference on the Great Lakes Region talks. The fact that the UN has sanctioned this military option means that the peace process, the negotiations that Uganda government was already spearheading and, uh, and conducting here in, in Munyonyo, uh, Kampala, has come to a note. Currently, President Museveni is the chairman of the Peace Initiative. A member of the African Security Sector Network, Pulkol says though Uganda had scored a diplomatic coup by leading efforts to find a peaceful solution, it appears that it had only papered over the cracks. So how should Uganda react? I'm asking for our government to come clean on this. Emmanuel Mutaizibwa, NTV Tonight.